more than 1.8 million displaced people are forced to live in camps like this in northeast Nigeria. And more are arriving every day because of threats from Boko Haram. Not only are there security concerns, it's also a challenge for election officials who've been registering new voters. Everything is for now scattered, but we'll try our best to see how we organize all these scattered locations and scattered voting population. Nigeria's election is scheduled for February 16. With plants in disarray, many doubt they'll be able to cast their vote. The Independent National Electoral Commission told us that we will vote in our hometowns, but now we do not know what the plan will be. Boko Haram killed at least 60 people in the northeast town of Iran on Monday. The terror attack took place two weeks after the same group overran the town, driving out soldiers. More than 30,000 people have fled to Cameroon. Humanitarian agencies are scaling up their responses to deal with the crisis. It's very clear that the people who came really had no choice. They've talked to us about uh, repeat, being repeatedly attacked and uh, fleeing and going back and fleeing again. There were, some of them said five, some of them said this is the ten, tenth time. Election observers worry that people streaming into displaced camps could lead to vote rigging. There was widespread vote buying in such camps in 2015. Boko Haram has stated they plan to disrupt the election. Meanwhile, President Buhari has promised to deal with the group and restore security. But that's the same promise he made when he came to power four years ago. Sharon Ogunleye. TRT World.